Hello guys, and here today I have some thoughts about my Nakamichi 680. I've been playing with it again, so here is the, you see results. Speed 3.147 and wow and flutter 0 0.06. So we have passport parameters. It's good. Um, yeah, it's not a direct drive, but still results very good. Also, a couple thoughts I'd like to share. I hope it will be useful for you. I have read multiple articles. I was trying like, to understand why I cannot set up the levels properly on the front panel. And as a result, after reading like everything, like uh, I have read that uh, Nakamichi in service manual, <clears throat> it recommends 200 nanovibre tape. Then I read article that Nakamichi changes the tape, same number. They left same number. Let me see if I have still this article open. Uh, I believe it's here. It's on type heads tape heads so you see yourself so it says that Nakamichi been doing their set of reference tapes they've been measuring 200 nanoweber and then uh, they changed it levels so in 1972 they created the um, tape with the reference label and reference level and in 1980, since Dolby C was introduced, they mentioned that their uh, tapes recorded were sound differently. And that's where they made a, a choice to adjust. So they left the same number, D09005, for the tape, but at the same time, they reduced the level by one decibel. Okay, interesting. So I may assume that uh, the levels uh, we are have with the current Dolby tapes should be plus one decibel to the one <laughs> which on the commission been recorded. Okay, in this case, we're getting even like better here on adjustments. We are getting on the right side. We cannot almost adjust everything. However, like thinking further, I decided to make a playback level as zero view specifically considering that we have this VU mode, fancy, and uh, that uh, it was 1979 when all decks, most of decks, had been using uh, needle indicators, right? And, oops, right after I have like, let me show you, all ports for all speeds, like are exactly around the middle. And I may put any tape and they will be around the middle. So I truly believe that this deck for the playback has to be tuned as zero VU here uh, to properly play and specifically to match other decks from this age when they have a Dolby B. Uh, because they've been using Dolby B and they had a zero VU. That's my thoughts, and what I'm done also. I did measure a couple other things. Let me show you what I'm receiving. So I just was playing, I was trying another tape uh, from Sony, and it's records well easier. Let's start from the type one tape. Let's do calibrate it first. You see, this tape has a bit better sensitivity than the Sony tape. Okay, let me set the levels for this particular tape. Okay, so source, tape, perfect. Now let's recalibrate to have a perfect azimuth. Because to have perfect azimuth, you always have to match level between two channels. So whenever it's minus five decibel, you will get or zero or whenever. And right now, you see, I have like plenty space 
on the easier side I can make it lower minus 6 decibel or higher plus 6 whenever you see uh, how it is and specifically I will show you I also tuned the uh, low speed and now it's placed up to the specs uh, which has been claimed by Nakamichi so here we tune it you see it's 0 decibel on 400 gears let me check uh, if Hazimut was proper you see on 15 kilogears okay actually one channel is half decibel of let me adjust this half decibel it's too sensitive really okay now it's a source tape 15 kilogears uh, we have levels now let's do I use a source I will use minus 20 I will use frequency sweep for you Man, start it. And this is the source currently. And that's where I will show you, like using different tapes, we have exactly the same response. Like it's the difference around one decibel in the mid range. So now it's it's close, very close to what I can do with my Sony K series decks. I had K5, now I have K7, and this is pretty in line with what I see. That gives a little bit sound, like you see this bump around between like 6 and 15, 16 kilohertz. There is a little bump here. Now I'm switching to the tape, and you may see that there would be a very minor differences like about one two decibel on the low frequencies higher you see almost about nothing it's not possible to distinguish when you hear and it goes pretty straight further how precise it is when everything is tuned azimuth is tuned automatically you see yourself here is a little bump the known bump for Naval Makamichis, and then you see it goes pretty straight to uh, like 18 20 kilohertz. You see 20, no, it's 18 20 here, 22 tape type one. Uh, now let's do a slower speed. Let me calibrate. Oh, I'm not sure it, it won't calibrate properly. Sometimes azimuth for the lower speed. So I will keep azimuth as this. And here we currently play, recording and playing 120 microseconds, type 1 tape. And let me do source first. Switching between. Let me see. I'm also mentioning that there is a difference between levels on the display, like one decibel on the left channel, and what I see here on the display. So one decibel, not much, but for our experience to have a nice chart, I will just adjust it on the front panel have it exact match okay for recording it would not matter much but now I can do frequency response on the type 1 tape from my measurement uh, it gives a pretty good results uh, type 1 it goes up to a 13 kilohertz well and then drops or for type uh, 2 is 14 kilohertz and for type 4 it will be 15 kilohertz 
So here's our recording. You see it's type one, it's tape playing currently. And it goes pretty smooth, pretty well. So it's 8, 9, 10 kilohertz, 12, 13, 14. You see, 15. Around 14 kilohertz on type 1. And then it drops on the slower speed. Okay. Uh, next, let's do chrome tape. Let's set for the chrome position, normal speed. Let's do calibration. Okay. Let's one channel a little bit off. Okay. Source. Tape. Okay, looks precise. Source tape. Okay, now this will be normal speed. Let's well, redraw. <laughs> that's why we were tuning, like you see those spikes. Actually, can can start from the beginning, clean it up, and then do clean picture. Then it's tape, normal speed, and you will see that it's it's very nice. So my measurement shows it's it's a very minor difference from the source. I will show you with the white noise and pink noise a little bit later how it's performed. But even here, I may see that there is no any significant issues. Okay, we have, I believe, azimuth is not there because we have a difference between two channels now. Let me see. Yeah, let me try to recalibrate. Yeah, see, azimuth is off. Now it's so. And now we have a proper response. Uh, let me see. That's always like uh, when you calibrate, so you see there like a level and there is additional indicator of the azimuth. They both should be on the same position as the level. If not there, this means azimuth is wrong and you need to recalibrate. Uh, to do that, I'm usually like adjust level on one channel significantly, like minus five decibel, do recalibrate, heads goes to the different position, then I adjust back and recalibrate it again and then it moves to the proper position here. So, and what's what we have here, so, let's see, it's normalized. Here's the proper face. Let's go well, it's about 20 kilohertz. And let's do a slower speed. Uh, we'll use 120 milliseconds as it recommended for slower speeds always use 120. Well, let's see the difference i believe for it will go up to 14 kilohertz and then we'll drop Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, like up to fifteen kilohertz. You see, so pretty good response for the slow speed. I probably would do a recording uh, of the music 
I've heard myself there is loss of the high frequencies, but uh, it's manageable. Now let's do metal tape on the normal speed. Let's do calibration for this tape. You see, those were off. Why? Why it doesn't search for the face? I just didn't get it. Let me show how I fix it. So I do one channel significantly off. Then run calibration, it goes away. Then I use to set the same levels. Okay, so it's source tape. Okay, now let's try calibrate again. Okay, you see, it's 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 getting close. See, now it's it's asymptotic position. It shows that it's it's there. Let's do one more time. Now strictly there. Okay, source tape, good. Now, seventy microsecond normal speed. Let's see results of recording. I believe it will be really really good. Twenty two kilogears easily on type four. You see yourself. Well, I believe there would be nothing new, so we just will fix the chart. You see, it goes pretty smooth for type 4, I would say very, very good. So it's 20 and 22, perfect. Now let's do solver speed. See how well it repeats on the slower speed. Okay, five kilogears, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen kilogears. See sixteen kilogears minus three decibel on type four. Very very good. Okay, now let's do restore high speed. Oh, and I didn't tune like 120 for the slow speeds. You see, let's do one more time. It's 120 microseconds. We would change it or not. But with 70, it was, was very good. It's pretty linear. No, basically exactly the same. I don't see a big difference between 70 and 120. Okay, let's switch to the normal. And there was a question for me, or a request. Can you measure the distortion? Okay, to measure THD, we go here. And we have 0.4 percent. With new capacitors, it's it's below below the norm. Norm is 0.7, and 
and we have 0 0.4 you see this doesn't matter I can tune it it plays 400 gears here so we can use 1 kilogertz still 0 0.4 and 400 still 0 0.4 you see distortions are very minimal uh, let me know next time what you like to measure more noise level so with the tape so it's minus 40 minus 50 minus 52 i believe from the tape and from the deck nothing to tell about Pretty good results. Let's change the, the tape. Let's try normal tape. It should be more noisy. Uh, it's still recording. Yeah, you see, it's more noisy. Like four decibel difference, three and a half decibel difference. The noise level. Let's try in Dolby. And you see Dolby drops by 10 decibel approximately. Noise levels without Dolby. Okay. Uh, that's probably everything I'd like to show you. We also may try to see different charts here, like uh, white noise on minus 20 decibel here, and it's tape. So it's a source, normal tape, and it's tape. No change, almost no change, no, minor, minor changes. And for the pink noise, we will use zero decibel. So this would be the source, and this is the tape. You see, few decibels on the high range, all the difference on this tape. And noise reduction works like that, no change at all. <laughs> interesting nice so all in all i probably would keep with this like zero view level because in this case it's possible to adjust any tape so i tried multiple tapes and we get a good results i hope this will help you tune up your nakamichis and you will be happy with them Thank you and have a great day. Bye-bye.